Carol. What is it? How could you, Alan? Hmm? Well, at least I know exactly what's going on now, don't I? Carol, what's the matter? The game's up. I'd like to spell it out for you. April said you saw her coming out of our house this morning. You're going to deny it? Carol, it's not what you think. Do you know the really sad thing about this, Alan? Is that I finally thought I'd met somebody I could trust at last. Joke, okay. Carol, hang on a second. I can just... Alan Jackson? Look, I can't talk to you. Just one moment, sir. Are you Alan Jackson? Yes. We're from the Trading Standards Office. We'd like a few words, if that's all right. It's about your license, Mr. Jackson. for a brownie or something, eh? Just till you feel a bit better. Calm your nerves. What did you say, eh? Come on. I can't believe it. Oh, Alan. Yeah, well, I suspect it was some time now there's something going on. Thanks. Maybe you made a mistake. Well, whatever I've said about Alan in the past, I'm, I've always believed he's basically a sound bloke, you know. If I'm honest, I suppose I was... I was jealous. Jealous? Yeah. You both loved each other and it... it worked. <laughs> so now? <laughs> I've never had that. About this, uh, woman, this, this affair of yours, Oh, I don't know. She's putting the pressure on Carol. She wants to leave her old man now. And you? I don't know. It's such a big step, you know. But I'm sorry about it. But you'll get through this. You will. In a way, I can't blame him. I mean, she's young. She's very attractive. Then I look around at all the other women, you know, like, um, April, right? Huh. They don't let themselves go, have they? Mm. All right, mate. Oh, sorry. Oh, I should be talking like this, should I? Now, you listen to me. There's nothing wrong with you. Mm. Mm? You're just going through a bad patch, that's all. And whatever Alan's up to, it'd be a full risk losing you. I mean it. 